Hello everyone, this is a short introduction to the OpenSprinkler 1.2 update. Now if you've come to this website, you probably already know that OpenSprinkler is an open source web enabled sprinkler timer slash controller. It is based on the ATmega328 microcontroller and the open source Arduino software. If you've noticed, we just announced the version 1.1 about a month ago. So what happened is that we started working on the version 1.2 shortly after releasing 1.1 and we just got it in time for the Bay Area Maker Fair this year. So this version will actually become available at the Maker Fair and will also be available online shortly after that. If you're planning to come to the Maker Fair in San Mateo this year, you're welcome to drop by and see our live demonstrations. So what are the main changes in 1.2? The first change is that there is now an onboard USB programmer and a USB connector. And you can plug in a standard USB cable to the USB connector and be able to reflash the microcontroller through it. If you've noticed, this version is actually called uh, 1.2U, and the U refers to the USB. So this program is actually a USB tiny ISP programmer um, based on uh, at AT uh, Tiny 45, which is uh, this 8-pin uh, chip here. Now, uh, this is just one among many choices to directly program an AVR microcontroller without the need of a bootloader. The main advantage is that uh, this USB Tiny uh, programmer is very inexpensive. The AT Tiny 45 chip costs just a couple of dollars. And you can actually use the entire program space on the AT uh, Mega 328 since there's no bootloader required. The previous two versions of uh, OpenSprinkler both used the FTDI programmer, uh, and here is an example of the FTDI programmer. So the uh, main advantage of FTDI is that um, it itself is a USB to serial uh, converter. Uh, which you can easily use uh, for debugging your program. But the downside is that it's relatively expensive and, and it requires a bootloader which reduces your uh, usable program space. So in this new version 1.2, uh, we've got rid of the FTDI interface and instead uh, give it a, a built-in USB interface and no external programmer is required anymore. So when you plug in the USB cable, your computer should automatically detect the built-in programmer. Now on Linux or Mac, uh, this will show up in your USB device list. As you can see here, USB Tiny. On Windows, however, you need to install the USB Tiny driver, which you can find on Adafruit website, or you can just Google USB Tiny driver. Now after the driver is installed, then when uh, you plug in the uh, USB cable, the system should automatically detect uh, the, uh, the USB Tiny programmer um, and show it up in your USB device list as shown here. Also, the Arduino software has built-in support uh, for USB Tiny programmer, um, like here. So you can use it to directly program the AT Mega 328 uh, microcontroller. For details, please check the reprogramming instructions on my website. Now, coming back to the changes in this version, the second change is that several components have been replaced to adopt more common parts. These include the MC34063 switching regulator, the Ethernet jack, and the LCD which is now using the more common 1602 uh, LCD with backlight LED. Um, so um, this LCD is more widely available and it has backlight. Uh, so if I turn off the, uh, my ambient light and you can see that it's still very uh, visible. And also you can get uh, you know, uh, this type of uh, LCD in different uh, colors, uh, background uh, light colors, and also the font colors. So this one is um, 
a similar uh, LCD with a blue uh, back backlight uh, and a white uh, foreground color. Next, the extension board connector is redesigned to use a 2x3 pin format, which works better with uh, common 2x3 uh, pin cables. Also, there is now an extension in and also extension out connector, and this allows you to cascade any number of extension boards that you want by basically linking the, uh, the extension uh, in of, uh, sorry, the extension out uh, of the previous board to the extension in of the current board and just keep doing this. So you can connect uh, many extension board uh, this way. Another change is that there is now a terminal block uh, for connecting to the rain sensor. So you can plug in uh, the two wires from a rain sensor to this terminal uh, and the program can decide what to do when the rain is detected. Finally, there are a couple of pin changes. Uh, for example, the analog pin 1 is now available in the pinout area. And a few components have been removed to make space for the added components. For details, please refer to my website. In terms of the software update, the interval schedule program is now available in my GitHub download page. Now, This program allows you to set an interval and duration time uh, for each station. I'm still working on it, so hopefully it will become um, significantly more flexible within a couple of weeks. So that's all for the Open Sprinkler 1.2 update. Thanks for watching.